Yo, what? What's up, gang? This is Johnny coming at you from Callaway La Motors once again. And today I'm not in the trail. I'm in the workshop, unfortunately, but still having a blast. So I got a box in the mail today and super excited because I've been waiting for this thing for kind of a long time. But you know, nowadays shipping and everything is crazy. And of course, this thing needs to be imported. But I gotta say, first off, big ups to my friend, Brada Austin from Electro and Cole. Now, if you're not familiar with these guys, check out the page. I'll put a link to the um, I'll, I'll put a link to the website in the, the description block. But these guys are making it really easy to take, like, to do electric conversions or uh, to upgrade what you already have as far as uh, electric pit bikes. They have awesome, awesome razor kits which turn that bike into like a little rocket, and it's very affordable and it's well put together as we will see. But well, check this out guys, this is pretty awesome, right? This is Electro & Co's kit. Now this is, well, besides this of course, this is a battery pack, but this is a V3, uh, QS Motor V3 kit. And it comes with controller, throttle, you have, uh, connect, uh, you have a um, switch to turn on the power, and you also have a switch to select the three modes comes with a digital display to read your battery voltage and what I've learned over the years of doing this electric bike stuff is that when you have a bike with your percentage meter it's the percentage meter is good but the voltage that the battery is running at is a lot more accurate to where you are as a whole pack so um, most guys uh, not most guys but a lot of guys when they get more into their electric bike stuff when they upgrade the batteries they'll read the voltage as a more accurate way and uh, I thought it was humbug at first but I also agree it is much much better yep. and of course you have a throttle here and if this throttle looks familiar or if it doesn't look familiar uh, I don't exactly know the name of the brand but a certain Dutch company with a bike named after a wolf if I'm not mistaken has the exact or very similar throttle and the feel is really good as we'll kind of go through this a little later but um, it's very simple there's nothing fancy about it but uh, take a look take a look I, I believe it's the same one and um, Electron Co has told me it's the same throttle as well I gotta get the name though I don't know the brand but that comes with the kit this is the center of it all this is a Volto EM260 now this controller is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be and if you familiar with controllers like all you stir on Segway guys out there with uh, BAC 4000s, BAC 8000s, you know they're a little bit longer, a little bit skinnier or, or not skinnier but a little bit shorter um, and that's basically what it is. This one is a little bit taller. I, I thought it would be a little bit shorter but it is what it is. We are going to put this into the YZ250 and for all the videos that I've seen, it's actually going to fit very well in where the air filter goes in the air box. So this is just big enough to handle our power of course, and it's going to be well established. Uh, it's going to be a good placement in the air box, out of the way, uh, and just close enough to the motor and all the other controls for the harness as well. Now if you look real closely, Electro & Co has did this like this doesn't come from the factory like this I mean they've color-coded green blue yellow uh, even the what is this this is the uh, voltmeter plug they've color-coded this and from what I've seen in other videos they've actually simplified the wire harness when you buy this controller I've seen that the wires that come with it have tons of wires just everywhere and you know with the 
somewhat limited information on this controller, you know, being the China brand and all. Uh, it might be hard to find exact specs and all, but Electron Co. has taken all that headache out and given you the bare minimum of what you need. So the wire harness has been redone. So this is for the encoder, for the motor, and it is an encoded motor, so which means it's a lot smoother. Unlike, say, a hall sensor motor, which most Surons have, hall sensor motors tend to be a little more glitchy, tweaky. Encoder motors, uh, just like the one on our electric motions over there, a lot smoother response when you pull the throttle, and as the, uh, the motor progresses, it picks it up instantly, and there's no delay. So just to give you a little info, if you didn't know, encoded motor versus hall sensor motors. Okay? Yeah, um... Everything is set up. This is ready to go. And this and this right here, these uh, one, two, three, four, five bolts I put together in like, you know, not even three minutes um, to understand where it goes. Plug this in. That's that. Plug that in. That's good to go. All these, of course, this is the only plug like this. So that's for that. And this is for the throttle. So the throttle is here. All that stuff. Three minutes. Put it all together. I believe this is for a digital display that I'm currently working, uh, waiting for. I think they got on back order, but they're actively getting that to me. Uh, this is just a whip here that I made uh, for another project. And of course, I got my uh, 50 volt uh, battery pack over here. Now, this battery pack is not exactly what you would use for this system. This system is a 72 volt, which I've been told will give you the max power uh, output which I believe you can tune it to 28 kilowatts. And that is insane. The EM right there is maxed out at 11. And this thing, well, at its weight at 140 pounds, this thing will flip itself end over end, just like that, with how much power it has. Now this, this controller and motor combination with a 72 volt system, up to 28 kilowatts that's crazy and of course you can turn it down if you need to and we may just do that because we want uh, more adequate runtime we we want to tune it to what we need which is more enduro hard enduro type riding not too much motocross um, we can tune it for motocross but uh, for my purposes personally I'm going to use it for more enduro riding all right so make it easy I've powered everything on I've hooked this up right here and like I said I know this is 48 volts is not the optimal voltage but I just want to see this guy spin right here and I want to show you guys how the work that Austin and them have put in to make this thing super easy to set up and super easy to understand is well worth the effort on their part and well easy it's super easy for you on your part to pick up this kit and just jump into it you don't have to worry about everything else you know um, the kit is pretty inexpensive as far as bundling it together and Austin guys do go into here and program their settings as well so you get a baseline setting uh, with the controller and they can help you to adjust it or um, go in with the computer and adjust it as needed as well so first things first plug your battery in we got power you hit this switch right here and that turns on your voltmeter now we're at 57.54 volts ish and after that this is uh, mounted on the bike then after that you have your three riding modes here which are programmed into the controller so we'll just go for one it, we, we won't be able to see the difference too much on the motors but we'll just select it to one and then we'll take our throttle and just gently twist it because this motor has so much torque if I just give it a bunch it's gonna coil itself up so let me just roll on this thing haha <laughs> And just like that guys it's so so awesome just to to get this set up and within like i said within 10 15 minutes of opening the box we already have a working system that we can see results and and that is worth it's that's worth its price right there yeah this is this is pretty awesome so you notice i'm going real slow on the throttle because this motor has so much torque if i because it's not mounted down if i jerk it it's gonna twist itself and I don't want that so but just check it out it's very smooth 
I can almost imagine. Hold. Okay. I can almost imagine how smooth it's going to be when it's on the bike. We can get a good throttle control, kind of like our electric motions right here, where we can really put all that power to the ground and get a really good drive off the wheel instead of just, you know, balls out once we crack the throttle and it just spinning tire all over the place. That's what we don't want. For the hard enduro stuff, we want steady linear power so we can get the traction. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'm super excited. I'm going to have a video coming out on, of course, the breakdown of the bike itself. It's been kind of chilling in my video bank for a little while um, just because I've been waiting for this and I kind of wanted everything together. But now that it's here, we are going to get started on that and of course mounting this in and the battery pack the battery pack is going to be interesting i don't know if i'm gonna buy one i don't know how it's gonna fit i gotta mount the motor in first and see what i'm working with as far as size goes but um that's gonna be part of the series so if you like what you see please subscribe mahalo again for checking us out and mahalo again to electro and co for all your hard work in getting this to the masses of people Check out the website, uh, hit them up with an email if you have questions. Austin is super helpful um, just explaining what they do and what they offer and what is possible. And there's a ton of videos out there using this motor and a similar controller uh, and, you know, on pit bikes, on bigger bikes. So the, the information is out there, guys. If you want to if you want to get into this, you want to convert an electric bike, Electro and Cole got you covered. Right on guys. Take a, take care. Until next time, remember to ride with Aloha.